Okay, so we've got all our team on here. Well, some of us anyway. So we want to talk about the NFC tagging that's now available on Street Tag, which I think is probably one one of our one of many big improvements that's available on Street Tag now, especially now you don't need a smartphone to participate in Street Tag. So I mean, we we went through some challenges and some interesting experiences building this. So I thought it would be great to kind of discuss it with the guys. Um, and then also from, uh, I'll come back to you in a second, MJ, but from AJ, MJ's point of view, MJ works with all the schools. What difference is going to make to teachers, you, uh, sorry, not teachers, the parents and families with kids that will be able to now purchase one of these uh, FOB keys to use? Uh, let me see if I can show you very quickly. Mm -hmm. so you can, I already got one attached to my key. You can use this to participate in street tag. And all you have to do is just tap it on the phone of anyone that has a smartphone. And then boom, you can collect tags. You can leverage other people to collect tags. So let's start from Kushar. So you're, you're one of the brains behind, uh, you know, how it all works operationally behind the scene technology wise. And then we'll go around with, with the team just very briefly. Like how challenging was it and also, do you, if you remember when I first mentioned it uh, to you guys, what 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 were you thinking? Like, uh, did you had some reservation about actually doing it? Did you think it was a bad idea? Not at all. Like, uh, that is a good idea because with the help of NFC, anyone can use you know tagging, especially for the ch children. Because we are facing a problem that parents have their smartphone at their work, but ch children don't have you know, smartphones uh, all the time, or maybe some children don't have phone, like, you know, in real time. So NFC gives them power to uh, do the tagging and be a part in street tag. Yeah. And what, what, what were the challenges that you faced? If you can remember some to share briefly, not, not like, too technical though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a, I have to, you know, make a, a real time person, which is not existing on the app. So that was a big challenge because somehow NFC is not in your cell or not is in your app, but it's a virtual device which you can use to touch to get yeah. like so that was challenging. Okay, awesome. So I'll go to MJ, then I'll come back to Chetna and Mahindra and also Hash as well in terms of from testing actually building it into the, into the app. So MJ, you work with, we have like hundreds of schools now and obviously thousands of families and mm -hmm. thousands of children as a result. What difference do you think this is going to make having uh, families be able to use this? So I think N NFC will help uh, for families where they <clears throat> have only one smartphone and more than two children want to participate <clears throat> in the program. So because right now we can have two children on the app, C1 and C2, but with NFC, if you have more than two children, then mom can just go out with them and they can just tap on the back of the phone and they can get points. And I think it will be good for P, uh, students in secondary as well, because what I felt like the app is listed 17 plus on for IO, I, iPhone users, right? Yeah. So if the parents, they don't want them to download the app on their phone, then, you know, if someone else, if like my friend has the app on it and if my mom doesn't allow me, I have the FOB, then I can participate in the program as well. So true, true. that's another interesting use case. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Cool. Thank you. So um, Chetna, then yeah. Mahindra, like, what was it? What was it? How challenging was it actually to build into you work on, on the Android, you know, with Maruf and the team? But what was it like for you? um building this into into android uh, i uh, i had challenge of android devices because uh, more of the android devices does not support the nfc so i can't find uh, uh, one uh, which is uh, uh, have a uh, inbuilt nfc so this is the challenge for me to develop the uh, app which does not support the NFC uh, tag. And uh, and one thing uh, I have to tell this, uh, 
when children go to a garden and uh, they uh, don't have a uh, phone so they don't uh, uh, so don't they don't uh, have to uh, uh, have a linger they don't have to so know like uh, the, think uh, of that the, they are not taking because in last uh, in our past we can see there yeah. are children in the park which who wants to do tagging uh, yes. and earn points on street tag but they don't they are not getting those points and you know like uh, they are not getting yeah. up on the league of yeah yes so, so the the, nfc nfc uh, provide uh, children to do, do not tag uh, phones on their uh, pockets or hands so they keep a little bit uh, uh, low form radiation of phone so this is quite good from an nfc in short study and you know smart way to let general to be participating in street tag like yeah collect points with happy faces and no yeah. radiations less yes. radiation yeah 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 true um uh mahindra do you, do you have anything to add from ios point of view like uh because especially for android i felt like android is like straightforward to it. no 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 disrespect and uh chetna it was straight, a bit straightforward because on on android once you're on the app you just tap your nfc on the back of anyone's phone it picks you up on ios is different because ios is more restrictive you have to first of all press a button on screen then you allow someone to tap it then it works what was i mean what was going through your mind uh, there are two two feature in a nfc tag scanning first of all uh, uh, after uh, uh, xr updated version to uh, xr 11 12 13 like uh, iphones yeah. uh, tap a no tap a notification and click a notification and get a point first yeah. of all <laughs> and uh, after the lowest version uh, eight seven uh, can you press the uh, nfc button and after that it can uh, nfc tag. that get the point so easy oh so so just to clarify on the newer versions of the phones you don't have to press the button so it works like android but if you have older version of iphone you have to press it yep ah cool So okay even i've just clarified something new yeah, myself <laughs> because yeah, i've been testing on on the older version of iphone yeah, which is more course. important because most people but, might still but, have older but version. we are testing in the iphone 12 yeah true the new one, one that you now. bought recently they are nfc tech yeah 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 cool yeah. got it got it so hash very quickly time like you've been having to to do some of the testing on this like yeah, um uh how 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 is the testing in this round because you you've not just been testing this nfc also the offline mode we've made app possible to work in complete offline and also in hybrid offline how yeah. we've got combined with the nfc how challenging has that been for you and how have you been able to push the guys yeah actually that was a uh, really challenging for me to switch to online mode offline mode and after that uh <laughs> feedbacks from you and as well from users we have implemented some features that should also work in the offline mode so yeah that was challenging but this is the part and parcel of our job and the testing is skill so that's fine uh, but, but uh, what i think about nfc is uh, i think that would be one of the revolutionary feature in street tag as as per my my point of view uh, because i think it is not only helpful or beneficial for child or the old, old age people i think it would be helpful to all age group people because i maybe i do have a smartphone i don't have a smartphone depends on the situation but i if i do have the nfc tag in my wallet or purse in that case i can interact with any people uh, tagging in the, on the street or in the park i would say hey man let's tag together so this this makes a very healthy friendship with the people around me so i think this would this would be one of the revolutionary feature in our street tag application totally i i think you've summarized it like really really well um yeah this is this is game changer like for us in that within our team uh, it's a shame we i think we have about four or five other people that are not able to join but it's nice to have is at towards the end of the day we've been able to get every, uh, some people on on here to record this so well done everyone i'm excited uh this is obviously going live in the next 24 hours or so if not in less well, less than 24 hours um yeah it's cool thanks for come jumping on board to record this uh, everyone enjoy your evening and yeah we look forward to seeing how everyone reacts <laughs> you all right <laughs> bye guys bye bye wait 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 wait, wait, wait.
John, um, hello. Um, hello. we're still recording. Let me stop the recording and I'll send another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>